Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X9, and the um, situation that I've got is designing this little addition onto a uh, patio, if you will, uh, that is going to be an indoor outdoor space. Uh, it's it's going to be really fantastic. Um, let's take a spin on the exterior and I'll show you what what this is. This is a great project. Uh, we added this piece on the left a couple years ago uh, with our client in Connecticut and so we've got this indoor outdoor space and our the, the concept is to make these large walls. This is a 16 foot by 9 foot opening on this end and nine foot by nine foot openings on the two opposite ends here. And these are going to be a uh, product uh, called NanoWall. That's the concept. And what I like to do is um, show how I, I put uh, the NanoWalls into the option and with one into the model, with one click, uh, I can show it open or closed and you know how in in the 3d rendering you can select a door and show it closed or open like that so what I'm going to do is I've got uh, this I've created this library object that I call nano wall door I will have a link to this I'll make this a library and I'll have a link to it in my YouTube description um, which you will be able to download for free I'm going to open these uh, objects and use absolute to the bottom so what I've done is I've, I've put this door in the model I, I place the door in the model I've sized the door the way I want it 96 high, 36, each sash is going to be 36, um, three, three, three sashes to fit this nine foot opening here. Then I'm going to give it, I'm going to select these. Now if I select like this, I'm going to select quite a few things. I'm going to select the doorway, I'm going to select the three sashes. Um, I just want the sash sashes. So, in my selection mode, I've got select contained objects you see on the right hand side of my toolbars. And uh, someday maybe I'll, I'll go through toolbars, customizing toolbars. Um, so, I'm going to select two of the sashes and then shift drag the last sash. So, I've got three objects. I see that in my lower left hand corner. Three objects selected. And open that. I'm going to make the elevation reference absolute and all of them will be at minus 36 because that's what this floor is at in this in this uh, indoor outdoor space. Let's check my view here. Fantastic. Uh, oh what, I know what I've done. I made it eight feet tall not nine feet tall. I want the height nine feet. 108. There we go. Great. Now, how am I going to do open versus closed? And I want to do that open versus closed in both plan view and rendering view or elevation view. So I'm going to select these three objects again. I'm going to open all three of them at the same time. And I'm going to choose my layer. Now this automatically comes in on the fixtures exterior layer. I'm going to select my doors layer. And I've not played with um, drawing groups much here. Is there a door? 
the C uh, opening. Choose drawing group opening. Now I'm going to define that doors layer and I'm going to just copy it. Right down here, I'm going to copy that doors to layer and I'm going to name this. I'm going to check modify all layer sets. I'm going to name this doors closed. Right? Now, doors closed, I'm going to remain displayed here. And then you can guess what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to actually copy it one more time and call it, click on the layer name and call it uh, doors open. But we're going to turn off this display. Modify all layer sets, I'm going to turn on and off. So with my, with my modify all layer sets checked, I have to turn it off. So what I did before was I turned it off in this set, then checked this checkbox, so I turn it on, off again. Now I know it's set. I'm going to click OK, but these objects I actually went on the doors closed layer because they're in the closed position. OK, uh, let's check my camera view. Doors closed layer is turned on right now, so that's great. They're shown there. Back to my uh, back to my plan view. Now I'm going to take this object and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to copy it and paste it. Control C, Control V, copy and paste on your keyboard or Command C, Command V on a Mac. There's that one. I'm going to command V again because I'm on a Mac. I'm going to hit F10 on my keyboard so I don't have angle snaps anymore and that means I can do it at any odd angle I want. So like that. X on my keyboard does point to point move. That's the way I've got it set up. One more command V. I'm going to put it like so. We don't need quite that angle. Let's turn it a little bit more. X again on my keyboard. There we go. Now these are on, you can see on my uh, uh, bar at the bottom here, right below my mouse, object layer is doors closed. And so they're still visible. Well, I, they're in the right position, but I'm going to shift click on all of them and command E on my keyboard and choose doors open. Okay, now <clears throat> to set up for the one click option here, I'm going to go full camera in, in my camera rendering. I'm going to uh, click on this display options, however you get there with the, whether it's the icon through the um, uh, tools, layer settings, or the um, backwards, whatever you call that key, tilde key to the left of the number one on your keyboard. That's how I use it often. I'm in camera view set. I'm going to copy this set. So I'm going to call it camera, instead of camera view set two, I'm going to call it camera view set open. And you guessed it, we're going to go to doors. D on my keyboard jumps down to the first D layer. Doors closed will turn off, doors open will turn on. Why didn't it change? All I did was copy that set. So I, I was in camera view set, I copied it, changed that layer set. All I've got to do now is switch my, my um, layer set. So from camera view set, camera view set open. There we go. Switch back to camera view set for closed, open, closed. Same thing on if I want to show it in um, 
plan view. Now when I'm presenting, I use a layer set I call presentation set. So it's all clear. I've got these turned on, those turned off, etc. Um, so I'm going to do presentation set. I go into presentation set, then I open my layer display options. I'm going to copy this set. Take, uh, highlight the two and call it open. And once again, you can see I will, I'm in the open set, so I want open on displayed and closed not displayed. Again, nothing changed when I click OK because I have to actually go and select presentation set open. Presentation set closed. Perfect. Now, instead of going through all that uh, work again, what I can do is I'm going to go to my default. I only have the closed uh, panels shown, so I'm going to go into my layer display options and click the open. I'm going to show both right now. And I want to see both because I want to select both. So I'm still in my Select Contained Objects um, selection option. I'm going to shift drag over two of the panels and shift drag over the last closed panel and all three open panels. So I've got six objects currently selected on two different layers. That's okay. I'm going to copy and paste Mirror About Object and that's going to be about this wall, the center of this wall, so that they're open, closed there. And I can now just go into my, the layers are set up already, the objects are set up already. Uh, what happened? Uh, what happened? Where did, ah! The camera works is working funny magic on me. So the objects are there, the layer sets are there. When I, By default I'm going to go into the closed layer set, the camera view set. I just quickly click on open and there it's open. The last thing I have to do is set up the this as a doorway. I'm going to select this door, command E, give it the type of doorway, and you know the rest. I'm going to take this doors panel, copy and paste it. Now this is four panels in a 16 foot opening, so they're going to be four foot panels instead of three foot panels. I'm going to move it right on that edge, center it, command G, center it on the wall. Now I'm going to multiple copy this and select my options at 48 inches. So I'm going to copy this over. Now notice I'm not, I don't have my angle snaps on. F10, while I'm copying I can hit F10 on my keyboard and that'll make it snap straight in a line. Back to my camera view. Well, I copied the closed objects, so I'm, I'm in the open layer set, so I won't see them. If I close it, huh, now that's interesting, isn't it? Maybe I'll have to do some work on this object before I upload the uh, library. Anyway, um, that's, an, that's an odd thing. What is going on? something in this. I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to figure that out before I upload that, but um, you see the basic option. Once I get that figured out, I'll copy it, stack it on one side or the other here, and uh, change the layer to the closed layer, doors closed layer. All right, that's our Tech Tip Tuesday for today. That's a lot of teas. I'm Tim for one more tea. 
from Design Build Solutions. Thanks for watching.